Hi, this is Stargazer. So, I got this jersey in today. So, let's take a look at it together. So, I have a couple requests for this jersey to be reviewed. And I was waiting until he got his MVP. And a couple days ago, he did. So, I'm doing a review now. So this jersey, it has the same type of paper as the Air, uh, Michael Jordan jersey for Chicago Bulls. It has a huge paper, oversized. And hopefully it's not as wrinkled as the Jordan jersey. And so far, it looks good. It's definitely not as wrinkled as the Jordan one. I think because although it was a it was a big paper, um, I think they cleanly fold it so it doesn't crease as much. And that's what they should have done on the Jordan jersey, but maybe they got too lazy or maybe it was just the one that I had were a little unfortunate. So this is Houston Rockets. James Harden, MSRP is 110 and this jersey is made in Honduras. And it's red base with gray trimming and white font. The rib around the neckline is gray, it's just one color and center seam looks about right it's a little wrinkled so it's hard to tell if it's off balance or not but looking at it from here it looks pretty good there's not much warping around the rib um, there's a little bit right here but it's not too bad and i think this is nicely centered and the trimming they use a darker gray. This is to hide the uh, seam allowance from the rib so you can see it. So if you don't have this piece, this is how it will look. It's not a clean finish if you have this edge. So by putting this on, it gives a clean edge and it's easier on the skin. And the armhole is the same type of rib, light gray, almost like a wolf gray, and just one color. And it's a unfinished edge. There's no trim here, but that's standard for Swingman jersey. They don't have any clean finish, unlike the Authentics. And the swoosh. As usual, it's a thin print. It's pretty thin, so it's really flexible. And you see all the perforated texture on the surface. And what's the logo? It's a heat transfer patch. Some of these letters are connected. So R is different uh, by itself. O is separated, C is separated. Yes. And T and S is also connected. Well, actually, from K to us they're connected and if you look at the edge so you can tell that it's a white edge that means it's a 
white fabric and they did a gray and red screen print on top of it before they cut them and then once the screen print is on they trimmed it and they pasted it on and that's why the edges are not painted and this is extremely noticeable because it's red on red and when there's something between that's different color it's extremely noticeable and if you have this stitched you probably can't see it but because this is a swing man there's nothing that's stitched on they're all just heat transfer patch so that's why it's always good to have the white um, white logo or fonts so it's hard to see these white edges or if they cut this fabric at the very edge you probably can't see this white edges as much um, what you can do is you could always paint this part like a marker or like um, some sort of paint fabric paint and just go over this edge and you should have a clean edge and the number it's white it's also a heat transfer patch let me see if it's the same fabric so it's pretty smooth and it's not that thick so because it's just with letters there's a lot of open space and these open spaces are not patches it's very flexible so if you do wear them and if you don't store it correctly these patches will be ruined faster anyways let's go back to this so it feels about the same they're both pretty flexible and the difference with this is that it's a white fabric so I think this is a good example so since this is a white fabric and they cut it and based it on you can't see any of the edges that is noticeable here if they put outline with red on it it will be like this it looks pretty nice no extra lines and keep it clean and at the bottom as usual it's swingman if this was an authentic it would say plus two let's look at the back so the rib is the same piece as the front they're connected it's just one piece and they just have a seam at right the back so same thing same distance and a little bit of warping here but not too bad and i think they went too deep when they stitched this part so this part looks a little bit shorter than this side and because this is such a different color um, for the neckline it's really it's really easy to tell if they're off balance so make sure to check these areas before you purchase them you want this edge to be evened out this should be a little bit higher up and it curves together yeah and same thing with the armhole it's the same rib knit because it's a rib it stretches pretty well so compared to the authentic this one has a little bit more narrow armhole so it helps to have a rib knit instead of the tape um, the authentic one it doesn't really stretch so if they used it on this it will be really tight around the armhole and the shoulder panel pretty standard separate piece right here 
and this is the main body same thing on the other side this side has a little bit of warping so be careful before you buy them to make sure the warping are minimal and this warping is not that bad so once you wear them it won't be as visible as some of the other jerseys like the all-star jerseys that i reviewed a little while ago and to the nba logo it's a thin print it's the same type of print as swoosh on the front it's a thin print and it's flat if this was authentic it's more embossed uh, the jerry west and nba will be raised a little bit higher compared to blue and red but this is flat because this is a swing man and the name it's the same fabric as the number on the front all white so no worry about edges being different color and the jersey number it's a little bit bigger on the back very elongated but it uses the same fabric so let's look at the side panel now So it's a pretty unique side panel compared to some of the other jerseys. Um, this is probably one of a kind where it has a base is a rectangular side panel, but there's two V's or maybe three, including the red one. They're all separate panels. They're separate. It's not a print. It's actually sewn on. So this will be a section you really have to look at before you purchase them because as you can see here, they're not even. And I think they are supposed to be even, but the angles are extremely different between left and right or this is the front and this is the back. This one is a lot longer and this is shorter and the angles are a little different. And as you can see here, it should be a straight line, but it's flaring out. And this side is not flaring as much. So you want to make sure these lines are clean. As you can see here, it's going in and going out. It should be even from left and right. And this part. The distance is completely different and the angles are super different too. They should be matching each other, I think. Let me show you the other side real quick. So this side, this is the right side. This one doesn't flare out as much on both sides. They look a little bit straighter. So I think this is a better stitch than the left side. So as you can see, it's pretty complicated. So they have a center seam right here. And this is the top piece. There's the bottom piece or the V uh, piece, contrasting color. And there's the red one. And then there's another gray. And they have a red piece. And how they sew is they attach all this first and then they attach to the main body and once they do that on front and back they stitch it together or maybe they'll maybe they stitch this whole thing together and then they stitch to the side but because there's so much steps it's a lot more easier to mess it up so this is the inside look of the side panel. So you can see all the pieces that are connected together. And more stitches has more stitch it has, more chances they mess it up.
So overall, this is not a bad jersey, but there's a lot of section that you have to be careful before you buy one of them and the main part will be the side panel you want to make sure the left and right are even with the shape as well as the V's are even you want to make sure that one and that's the biggest part and also the warping um, I see a little bit of warping in Hondulus jersey so be careful but I think when I had it on these warping weren't as noticeable, so it should be fine. But um, you also want to make sure to check the shape of the neckline. Now that I'm looking at it, it feels like this one is curving, but this one, this part is straight. So you want this part to be even. So if it's curved, you want both sides to be curved. If it's going to be straight, you want both sides to be straight. You don't want two different shape. And if possible, check the one or get the one with the least noticeable edge. But I think it's pretty hard, so if it bothers you, I would suggest using a paint and cover this edge with red paint. I don't think it's a, I don't think it's a complicated procedure, so um, it should be fine. Only thing you have to be careful is to make sure to get a matching color and don't spill the paint on the white or gray edges. And that's about it. And by the way, I got this at finish line. I think I spent less than $100 on this. So now is a good time to stock up on jerseys because there's a lot of them going on sale. And it will continue to go on sale until the next season starts. So... Let me know how you feel about this jersey, if you like it or not. Please leave me a comment below. Anyway, thanks for watching again. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, as well as liking the video. And see you next time.